Hey there. I know it's been a while since we've had a little, you know, nightly chat, a little heart to heart. But I do think it's important to get your mind right, to get your spirit in line, to get your physicality working good. I want you to remember that you are loved, you are cared about. I want you to remember that your opinions are valid. And you don't always have to be right in a conversation. You can choose peace and let things go. Being right, more often than not, will just unsettle you and everyone else in the conversation. If the main purpose of your conversations and arguments is to be right, and not to actually learn, and learn how to fix the world around you, maybe the conversation isn't worth having. If you're determined to stick with your opinion no matter what, maybe you're not seeking wisdom. It's important to try at least to seek wisdom. Or else how are you ever going to learn more about the world? Are you determined to stick to learning and knowing up until what? You leave high school and then never learning anything new? Never changing your perspectives? Where's the fun in that? Where's the adventure in that? I want you to know that we're here for you. I know sometimes it doesn't feel like there's a lot of people out there who can resonate with you. I know sometimes we struggle to really find those who are like us, find our nakama, you know what I mean, our comrades. But they're out there. And yeah, you won't agree on every single new topic. But I guarantee there are people out there who agree with 90 something percent of your ideas. It's just finding those people. It's just being real with yourself and not sitting around thinking, oh, you know, the only way I'm gonna meet people is if I pretend that I agree with everything this club that I'm a part of does, because they all just naturally agree with each other. But that's not the case. I doubt any of those two people agree with each other but they're trying to do what you're doing. Just trying to fit in, you know? People are willing to um, give up a lot to fit in. Couldn't be me though. I don't respect people enough to want to give up myself to be a part of people. And I feel like that's how you are too. So we're, we're here with it. We may not agree with 90% of things, but I feel like me and you, we're here with that. We're not willing to give up pieces of ourselves just so that a group of people who are going to talk about us anyway will pretend to show us respect and camaraderie. That's not the kind of peace we want. Those aren't the kind of people we want around us. We want people around us that actually respect us, that actually care that are willing to have a healthy conversation with us, that are willing to build us up when they first see us instead of argue with us. They're not just going to use us as some kind of, you know, emotional salve for whenever they're feeling bad about themselves. And they're not just going to use us, you know, to have someone to put down so they can feel good about themselves. You deserve peace when you lay down your head at night. You deserve to pray to God and say, thank you, thank you, this day, you know, these days are only getting better than the last days. You shouldn't have to rest your head thinking about problems and struggles, not only from life, because each day has its own problems, but also problems from the people in your life, your friends, the people who should help you to lift the weight you're carrying. You shouldn't have to deal with problems from them. That's unfair. You deserve peace and joy. And at the end of the day, we do need to.
to be thankful for what we have. We do need to be thankful for the love we have, the, the peace that dwells within us, the fact that we have people who love us. You know, not a lot of people in this world can feel that. There may be people that love them, but sometimes they just don't even know it. And if, if you've ever been in that situation and you're not there now, if you can think of at least one person that has your back, you should be very thankful. A lot of people out here don't feel that. It may be true, but they don't feel it. So many people out here are trying to fight for a purpose. They may be the most special person, but life has made them feel downtrodden and worthless. We should be the kinds of people that, even if it's a stranger that we've never met, when they speak to us, they feel valued and important. That's the kind of person I try to be when I walk outside. I try to be someone who, no matter who I speak to, they think, oh man, you know, I matter. This random stranger just gave me more dignity than anyone I've ever known in my life. Treating everyone as if they're your, you know, your sibling or your mom or your dad or how you would want people to treat like your spouse or your kid. You know, just treating people with that decency. You know, if you see animals, you know, I mean, no matter what the animal is, not just cute animals, but just, you know, any animal. And if, if it needs, I don't know, help of some kind and you're in a safe, you know, if you have the ability to safely help an animal or a person, obviously don't be a fool, you know, if you see like a rabid raccoon or something, don't go out of your way to try and pick it up if you have no like training in that. And if you're in a dark alleyway and someone's screaming for help, don't run down the dark alley. You know, you're not Batman. I'm not telling you to do that. What I'm saying is within reason. If you know, maybe at your job or something, or if you have a, you know, someone just in a public area who needs help, like just with a little task or finding a location, just not making them feel like a burden you know like how would you feel if someone you cared about was in that situation obviously don't let anyone make you feel guilty about not giving everything you know there's a limit but trying to just offset this world this world knows that it's not gonna it's not gonna stick around for that long it knows that it's imperfect this whole idea of this is how the world is and you know people are just naturally mean and things just na animals naturally evolve this way I, look i'm not a fool i can I, I i love the study of the world i love science but these things didn't just happen at random we have influenced this world heavily the principalities have influenced this world heavily. We don't have to naturally be anything. We don't have to naturally be evil. Animals don't naturally have to be, you know, living in fear or rabid. The world doesn't have to be deteriorating. We, we have so much chances. So even though I know this world is not going to last the way it is, what I'm saying is be one of the seeds of Eden in this world that is offsetting it be someone who upsets the evil people around you and makes the people who are you know hiding away who are afraid to be decent because they feel like they have to fit in be the kind of person that makes them want to stand out because they see someone else doing it so that 20 30 40 years from now they can't make that excuse of, oh, well, I was the only one who was going to do it, so I, I couldn't take the risk. Be that one person who gives them the opportunity by being bold, being loving in a bold way. Be willing to look foolish to the people around you. 
for the sake of goodness in the world. I want you to rest your head knowing that each and every day when you step outside, you offset the world. And just like when they say, oh, well, that's just the way the world is, people do evil things. When you do something randomly good for someone, and it might even, you know, make your life a bit more difficult for a moment. Or like when you give money to a homeless person, or, you know, you just do you help someone for no reason. And people say, oh, that homeless person, they're probably going to buy drugs. Or, oh, why'd you waste your time? You know, that made you late for work. You know, they're not going to remember you. They don't care about you. You know, like, that, that's not a smart decision. No one does that. You could just give that logic right back. Well, that's just the way the world is. People just do nice things sometimes. And yeah, people just get tricked sometimes. They just give homeless people money. Yeah, it is what it is. And then they go, oh, people don't just do that. But you can go, well, I'm doing it. So, surely... That's just the way the world is. If, if you can do evil, and that's just the way the world is, I can do good. And you can try and flip it and say that my good was worthless, but I can try and flip, I can flip your evil as well. I can say, yeah, you're being all jaded because you were hurt in the past, but the person who you're trying to get, get a leg up on and cheat out of a job role, God's going to bless them. And you're now you're gonna have this job that you hate, but they're gonna have a better opportunity. You know, life's just showing you who you really are. You're meant to do evil. I'm meant to do good. I don't think people are just naturally good and bad. I think you made a choice. Yes, what's going to happen is going to happen regardless. But while it's happening, you're still making a choice. And you have to accept that. And if you're someone who really wants to be kind and good and decent, do that. Because everyone feels like they're a super genius. Everyone feels like they're an expert. And yet nobody's ever really done any of these things. No one's ever done the job you're trying to do. No one's ever chased that dream that you're willing to chase. No one's ever been ridiculously kind and forgiving around you. So how the hell do they have all these answers? How the hell are they some specialist? But everyone's been jaded. Everyone's been cheated. So what makes the person speaking to you such an expert? You've been cheated. You've had people cheat you. Why aren't you an expert? Why can't they listen to your opinion on it? They're not the only one who's been cheated on. They're not the only one who's had someone, you know, cheat them out of a, a job role or, you know, a spot. They're not better than you. Their opinion isn't more valid than yours. So go out there and make this world better. Make this world somewhere that I actually want to live in. Because if you're like me, you're tired of seeing nothing but assholes everywhere. You need a different view. A world full of assholes is not a pleasant sight. I'm sorry. Let's make a world that looks pleasant and decent and sunny. You know, beautiful oceans. No storms. No disasters. Just a beautiful place with beautiful people. No racism, misogyny, no phobias of any kind. Just people and animals, when you see them, you think, man, I just want that thing to be happy. Even the plants, I just want the plants to be happy. I want the earth to be happy. I want the universe to be happy. I just, everything I lay my eyes on, I want it to be happy. I want there to be no vengeful spirits on this earth. I want them to go somewhere else and to die in a corner somewhere and have all the rest of us just do good to each other and right the wrongs that were put here on this earth and be thankful for what we have we are out here I am a man of God I am a servant of Yahweh Elohim I want to do I want to do right by everyone and while I do that I will praise his name that's just what I'm about but that doesn't mean if someone's agnostic or atheist or Buddhist, you know, or Muslim, I'm going to say, well, now my opinion changes. Show love to people. Don't tolerate evil, whether it's in my religion or someone else's religion or someone's philosophy or someone's, you know, patriotism. Their country tells them that if they're a good citizen, they'll be nasty towards people. I don't tolerate that from anyone. Because I am a servant of Yahweh Elohim. I'm a servant of life. I don't serve religions. 
Yeshua is my my friend, my Lord. He's my example. So I don't care what some church says. I will, I will love another person regardless of what they follow. But if what they follow says they can put hands on someone or kill someone or abuse someone, I'm going to disrespect their faith because that is what my faith is. You will not abuse people in my presence and get away with it. I'm going to be loud about that. Too many of y'all who want to be quote unquote good people are so damn scared to be good people. Don't try and be like someone you see in a movie. Just accept that you're a bystander who makes this world stay the way it is. But if you're tired of this world, like I'm tired of this world, then do good in this world. So that now, when you're going to rest your head at night, and you get to be the big baller that you fucking are, you can sleep peacefully, lucid dreaming about how you pissed off so many motherfuckers. <laughs> That's going to be such a great sight. You're going to walk into work and you know they hate you. You know they're talking about you. Oh, look at that happy motherfucker. Why are they, why are they so happy? Oh, I bet you they gave some bums some money. I bet you they donated. You know, I bet you they went to an orphanage and gave the kids, you know, a bunch of gifts. Saw oh, that do-good of that son of a bitch. Yeah, I want you to be that kind of person. I want you to piss people off that way. That's the kind of rebellion I want to see. Oh, that son of a bitch. He went to the, the soup kitchen. What, is he trying to is he trying to get like, you know, a girlfriend or something? He's trying to impress people? Nah, just because you feel like it. Oh, that son of a bitch. You know, he volunteers every other day. Oh, what, he thinks he's better than us? Yes. Yes, you are better than them. Who cares? Oh, well, it's not very altruistic. You're doing it to, to feel good about yourself. Yep. That's absolutely correct. Good job. Why don't you go uh, tell someone to give up on their dreams and let me continue being not altruistic. All I know is I'm sleeping well tonight. Have fun with that guilty conscience. We're out here, man. We're not tolerating these people anymore. We're not tolerating this world anymore. We're out here. We're, we're exposing. You know what I mean? We're forgiving. We're showing love. But we are not tolerating any of the bullshit. And you can rest your head knowing that we are out here and we got your back. You know what I'm saying? Love is stronger than anything else. My commandments that I follow the two greatest I will love my God with all my heart all my soul all my strength and I will love my neighbor as if they were me so don't treat my neighbor disrespectfully alright God bless have a good night you fucking amazing person you you cute son of a bitch yeah yeah you, you get to sleep look at you I'm trying to get like you you amazing fucking legend you yeah, yeah. No, I said it. Yeah, you're looking good. You're looking good. You're looking swole. You know what I mean? You 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 been lifting? You been putting some some more weights in the gym? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> Alright, catch you later. Have a good sleep.